Kenyan parents treat money like sex. They don't want to talk about it. Yeah, that's why we end up in the wrong hole or in... Trust him to talk about a wrong hole or debt. in debt. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Welcome to this edition of Simon Says. So, money. Hey, aka that thing that we never had enough of when we were growing up. We never had enough of it. Like, everything you want, you can pesa. Yeah, exactly. Dad, I take a new uniform. You can pesa. Dad! Wait, wait, you can pesa. You can pesa. Good boy. Exactly. You never had enough of money, and that's why we never given a sense of direction of where to go. I mean, that's why I got this guy over here. The only sense of direction we were given was Sadaka on Sunday. 100 bob. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's true. But there comes a time when a man must grow up. Oh, yes. There comes a time where you, you must grow up and you must adjust what your priorities in life. Very important time of life. Exactly. Especially when you're almost clocking up those 30s and you're like, you know what? My skin is breaking. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> I think that. Month, but it's okay. Because when you're young, from parents saying, there isn't money, there is no enough money. Like, even on payday, parents always said yeah. there isn't enough money. So yeah. you take that mentality mm. into your work environment, into your finances, into your relationships, wherever it is that you are. Like there is never enough. Yeah. But the one thing that for me I loved when I did Centromi was, Centromi taught you there is more than enough. Always out there. You have more than enough. I mean there is. You I mean, have more than enough money on you. The only problem is you ain't planning right. But that's what makes us have a lacking mentality. Yeah, because of so many expenses. No, you don't have many expenses. You look at your money wrong. You because. look at your money as expenses. Yeah. You don't look at your money as income. Okay, so how when you see so money as income. Shift you so you shift first of all you shift your mentality. I love, I love that sound. You shift you have to shift <laughs> your mentality first of all about the money that's coming in. So you see, all these expenses can be planned. It's not that you can't plan. Nobody's saying, oh no, now don't deal with expenses. No, yeah. we have rent. Everybody has bills to pay. Yeah, especially yeah. if you're working, you've got bills to pay. Yeah. You've got rent. You've you got all know, these things that you need to get done. Save up for but you can plan them. The book where I have to, you have to write account for every single shilling. Yeah. So let's say I want to go into Naivas to get a loaf of bread. So now I write it down. So I have the receipt and I write. when Like 50 bob, mm. bread. 10 bob, bread. tropical means. And I love I love for everything. Right I now. love my smoky, I love my egg. Mm. Now, plan myself for I don't have to have my smoky and egg every, every single, single day. day. You can put like specific You days can now. so now I would say Friday uh, is the day I'll yeah, go have yeah. or I'll go have it on Monday. So if I have my smoky and egg on Monday, mm. I ain't going back to that guy yeah, till the following week. week. Yeah. So now you so, plan your so it's not about saying don't enjoy the things you like. Also. Just have discipline. But at the same time it's also patience. Patience, yes, in terms of with your goals. Patience, yes, uh. but you have to. It's even to get to have that patience. You still need a discipline. And mm. the, I, I mean, everyone always talks about you know, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this about money. Just plan yourself. Mm. Plan the things you love. So you, exa I know there are guys who love to go out and drink. Yeah. You wanna go out and have a good time. Plan it. Everybody wants to have a good time. Who does it? Just put it down into your plan. So mm. now give yourself example giving. If you're earning a salary of ten thousand, mm. Bob, give yourself an entertainment part Allowance, of your budget. Yeah. Now so the, that key, the trick yeah. here is one thing. Uh. If it's two thousand, Bob, as your entertainment, yeah. the moment that you two thousand is gone. gone. That's you're nice. out. You made some dumb mistakes, I'm sure. I have made dumb financial mistakes, very stupid ones. Remember, there's a time I think I would just, I would, I would never plan. Mm -hmm. So I'd go have this gym of what I wanna eat, oh. have this gym of what I wanna have in the house, mm. and just go buy things. And then flood the house. And then you flood the house with stuff, some things that you never eat, mm. some things that you never use. Oh. And then you end up now. It becomes vain. Yes. It's all vain. Yes. I uh, that yeah. was one of the financial mistakes I made. Could you say like you uh, even because I'm sure we've all made mistakes where we buy things in order to feel a certain way about ourselves? Yeah, I did that as well. I mean, yeah, I'd, that's that, what I'm saying. I buy things that would I would look would look amazing when I'm looking at yeah, them. Yeah. But then actually get them, I'm like, like what's why? the purpose? Why did I get this? Like, yeah. there's a time literally in my house. I yeah. kid you not. I would have burva sausage. Uh -huh. I would have the spicy sausage. I would have say Vienna what? Sausage, <laughs> I would have Thomas <laughs> sausage. No. And then the Vienna sausage. I would have the pork. First of all, this guy's a winner lover. He's a <laughs> so, part of my personal resolution was I wanted to get my financial health, uh, get my physical health, and get my mental health. 
which is now oh so mental now, yeah. and also my speech because my spiritual health was always on the upside these other things amen were. jesus hallelujah this guy right here is another pastor he <laughs> preaches to me to every other day he sends me bible verses every morning it's like simon i believe in you go to church <laughs> but, no, it's true when yeah. you grow up seriously there's a point that you actually start understanding yourself yeah and when you understand yourself things that are irrelevant mm. to you mm. and things you stop doing things to impress others yes and that's, and that's what the key. i love and about that, maturity and that's literally what when now you mature, it gets to a point where yeah. i'm at the point where i don't give a hoot yeah and that i causes, really don't care about what somebody helpful. else thinks about me yeah i have i but you don't disregard i don't disregard opinion, it, the opinion but i don't the yeah. thing for me is nobody else's opinion will make me will mess up my day you're not you're not buying the range rover mm -hmm. because i want them to see i have a yeah. range rover because you're you like the range rover because, because you want the range rover and also it can be useful to you yes exactly it's about you as an individual uh. save accordingly so uh. you see now you have in your budget you have a a b c, b, c expenses yeah. Yeah. so you have those things that are necessity yeah. you have those things that you can live with and there are those things that you have that they're miscellaneous there are, there are those extra things that you have that you don't really need i know people who don't like netflix yeah but they're okay with dstv that's their preference yeah but and i know yeah. guys who like who like netflix yeah. and they don't want it so and you know guys who like iphones and who like android <laughs> <laughs> So everyone so it's, very, it's about your preference yeah so true. what's your preference so you live what works for you your, what works for you yeah now after you figured up all your finances the key thing is now make sure how do you avoid everybody who's asking you for loans <laughs> well, you can turn that into a business Ooh. Yeah, you probably could do yeah. that. So you there just you get collateral. So a yeah. guy wants fifteen thousand from you. Yeah. Take his phone and give him the fifteen G. <laughs> Every, but then now you, you know it. His phone, that phone that he gave you is not even his. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's a wrap up on this edition of Simon Says. I was here with Cheeto. You can make sure you watch. I mean, not watch. You can actually watch him on TV. Yeah, exactly. It's. Say it. Okay. Jesus Christ, I love how he said it. It's such a very it's very too bad, bro. Okay, no, 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 no. Exactly. On Kiss 100. Yes. My logo show right there is right there from 7 to 11. Exactly. 7 is 7 yes, 11. Yes, 11. 7, 11 or 10? No, it's 11. Okay, 7 11. There you go. Make sure you check him out. He's starting his YouTube channel, aren't you? Yeah, it's there already. It's there already. Cheeto? It's just, it's just very, it's very active. Extremely active. <laughs> videos every, exactly every one hour of the day exactly <laughs> they just keep on popping up exactly very active like a woman who's hit menopause just the same way anyway i'm simon god look at his face simon says see ya